It's been 50 years since Neil Armstrong took that one small step with mankind holding its breath. Lots of events being held to mark this historic day. And ABC's David Curley joins us with how that moonwalk is being remembered now. David, good morning. Good morning, Wint. There are events all over the country. If you're really interested in this, you can probably find one today. Here it is, though. This is exactly the same kind of lunar lander, an ungangly machine, two parts, the bottom part to land on the moon, the top part to carry the astronauts and get them back into orbit. They were thought to have a 50-50 chance of surviving what became a remarkable achievement. The Eagle has landed. As Neil Armstrong made his way down that ladder, I'm gonna step off the land now. 600 million people around the world were watching on television, the single biggest event ever televised. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It took 400,000 people working on everything from spacecraft to computers to spacesuits, and some of those people became legendary beyond the astronauts. Capcom, we're stay for T1. In Mission Control Houston, Flight Director Gene Kranz. The people that lived here and worked here, the room talks to them. And uh, you can remember the uh, the calls that the Capcom made. Okay, all flight controllers, gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Armstrong and Aldrin battled alarms and dwindling fuel, but made it to the surface, which for two and a half hours was their work area. Aldrin placing a reflector the only experiment still working 50 years later, allowing scientists to bounce lasers off of it, recording measurements. Doug Curry was a young scientist involved now and back then. And my big thing was, Buzz, quit jumping around and like you're doing and get to work. <laughs> The three astronauts returned heroes, mission accomplished, moon dust and rocks. And Mike Collins, the command module pilot, left some doodles behind. This Smithsonian 3D look inside the capsule of Apollo 11, revealing the message Collins left twice. There's a story that you went back in with a marker to make it permanent. Is that true? I just didn't really want to say goodbye to Columbia without saying goodbye. And uh, that was my way of saying goodbye. Five decades later, we all remember or reflect. 50 years later, what did landing the man on the moon and bringing him back safely mean for the country and the world and for Gene Kranz? It really demonstrated the power of free and open society. But all of a sudden we quit. It's a time for America to wake up, get moving, build the energy and passion and say what America can will, America can do. I heard that a lot from folks in NASA who were involved, some of the astronauts as well, that it was quite the achievement 50 years ago. But why do we stop really going to space? We've been in low Earth orbit, but we haven't reached further. We haven't gone back to the moon. There are plans to do that in 2024. At least that is the talk at this point. Guys, it's a remarkable anniversary. There are all kinds of apps out there if you want to follow the final moments here as they happened 50 years ago, including ABC News Live with lots of coverage of what happened on the moon. David Curley, incredible reporting, incredible story. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.